that I am really literally in the epicenter of downtown Stewart and how much closer to the epicenter you get with a mosaic like that. One of the really cool things that we have is that this amphitheater over here has live music pretty much every Saturday and Sunday. You're gonna get live music, so picture the band down there playing. Picture you and your family sitting up here watching the band, boats rolling in. We have a public marina here so you can come by boat. You can come by car over here. There's public parking. The other cool thing is that this boardwalk rolls all the way down. You can see the river house, and I'm gonna show you that later. The boardwalk goes all the way down that way under the Roosevelt Bridge as well. You can fish under that bridge. You can do a picnic. There's a, there's a public park down there, Flagler Park, which we have the green market at every Sunday. And that's all year round, so even during season. Now, this is the boathouse here you can see up here. The boathouse has fantastic outdoor dining. Now, you can see the people eating over here right now. It's actually an old house that was built in the 20s. And a lot of the neighborhoods down here have something called mixed use. So some of them actually have residential uses as well as commercial uses. One of my coolest favorite spots is to come down with friends and they have actually usually a boat over here and you can reserve the boat. Usually it takes you a day or so ahead of time to reserve the boat. See the beautiful dining up there. You see a few people, not as many as normal because this is, this is a Wednesday afternoon and it's not during season. We used to have all residential homes along this street. Now it became commercial use. They're gonna actually have uh, slips that go out here. That's the hospital. Martin County actually has an ordinance where you can't build over four stories in Martin County. So you don't see the high rises and all that. All right, so the next spot I'm in is another portion of downtown Stewart. Now, the epicenter here of kind of shopping and dining, if you will, I won't use the word dining. We've got Maria's Cafe over here. We got Duffy's Sports Bar over here. So Duffy's got all of the TVs. So for all of your sports games, I just kind of love these buildings that are like this. Like look at the architecture of that, like this roundish kind of building. Over there is where Oak and Ember is going in. That's where Kyle G's is putting in his new spot. And where Kyle G's is out on the beach. It's one of the best views in Martin County. Some of the best dining experience in Martin County on the beach. You got to check out Kyle G's. I'll probably do it when I do my next one of my episodes going out on the beach. So you got Monkeys, which is, you know, more shopping. You got a great noodle restaurant over here, Passion of Sushi, which is actually, you know, they got Thai, Japanese, Noodle World. All right, so I thought I'd take a little bit of a break here, guys. It is August. Now remember, it's a little bit hot in Florida in August, but look, I'm outside with a vest on. I got a little bit of a beaten sweat. It's later on in the afternoon, not too crazy hot. It's still got a nice breeze coming through here. So I feel relatively cool. I've lived in Florida for almost 20 years now, but I tell you what, you get used to it after a little while, and especially if you have shorts on and a t-shirt, you know, you sweat a little bit, not a big deal. All right, like so many of the spots in downtown Stewart, you really have all these different various access points to getting to the water, right? So this is the Colorado Avenue Park. This is the where we're on the other side. See that boardwalk look familiar down there? These buildings have been here. You know, remember Florida really didn't have AC, so it was a tough place to live back before there was AC, and you had to be very, very hardy. A lot of the buildings didn't make it from back in those days. Some of them were blown over by hurricanes, but you can see these buildings have been here since the 20s. So obviously we've had, you know, hurricanes come over. So there's a big thing out there that people worry about hurricanes in Florida. Well, you know, you got tornadoes out west, you got earthquakes in California, you got nor'easters that come through the northeast. You know, I've been through a few hurricanes down here and yeah, sure it messes some things up, but at the end of the day, you can see these buildings are still standing. So if you got a big concrete block house, you got storm shutters, you don't have to worry about hurricanes. So this is one of the oldest buildings in Stewart, built in 1903. This is the Parks House. That's a testament to how, you know, hurricane schmurricanes. This is built in 1903. It's still here. Now, the city building here, this is actually the city of Stewart City Hall. This is an amazing piece of real estate. And I think someday maybe the city will sell it because it's like, this is where the city workers are. The city this is like the best city hall building in the world. The view that these people have is, is incredible. All right, so this is the Stewart Feed Store. You can see general merchandise and that, Stewart Feed Supply. This is one of the older buildings next to the Parks Building over here as well. This is a museum now, so you can go in here and see kind of the, some of the old artifacts that have been dug up around Stewart, some of the old photos and that. Uh, we're on our way down to Hudson's on the River. All this is in walking distance. Right here we have the congressman's office. We have our congressman, Brian Mast. 
This is his spot. Pretty cool spot for a statesman to be in. So this is the Flagler place. So our Flagler center, as we call it. If you want to have a wedding, if you want to have a birthday party or some kind of gathering, I've had multiple business events down here at the Flagler center. Uh, it's a really cool spot. If you want to have any kind of event, check out the Flagler center. And this is Flagler park here. That's the boardwalk running all down there as well. Now this is where you have the green market that happens every Sunday. So you're gonna have local produce, fish, shirts and candles and flaxseed and all kinds of oils and incense. You can even get a massage here at the green market on Sunday. So the, the, it runs here, all of the booths and little tents are all along here. You got live music happening every Sunday. You got the green market. So that out there is actually an old wreck. Here you see that cormorant. It's an old like barge that actually ran aground. And these are all mangroves that you got hanging down in here. We're in one of the, the areas of the world. There's only like eight degrees of latitude. I know that sounds weird and I'm probably off on that that actually have mangroves in it. Over here is on the other side where we have the water bar. So you can walk by here, like literally walk down from Hudson's to the water bar and so you got your picnic benches live oaks hanging over and there we're back to the epicenter where we started so i kind of did a big loop with you guys and if you were to walk this whole thing it probably would only take you about i don't know 15 20 minutes to walk along and uh, here's this cute little downtown area if you wanted to come down here and just have a picnic with your family and look out over the water get any better than this. Now, if I hadn't mentioned it, I actually live in downtown Stewart, but this is a this is our office here, so I had to give a shameless plug for our office. That's a bit of a tour of downtown Stewart, and I hope you love this. Please reach out to us. Smoke signals, SMS, SOS, we'll take care of you. Email, text, call us, reach out to us. We would love to help you with all your real estate needs. This is Alex Haig with Hey Haig today. Thank you so much for watching this episode, and we're going to bring you more of this great content in episodes to come. Thank you.